Alabama wish to be recognized? Thank you. Yes, yes, sir. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, the committee print of the uh, so-called Financial Stability Improvement Act uh, grants <clears throat> unprecedented authority to the executive branch to expand the government's too big to fail policies of the past few years. Uh, I fear, as, as opposed to creating financial stability, uh, it will do just the opposite, and that's create financial instability. Uh, regardless of the nomenclature used to camouflage this fact, uh, I fear that the provisions of this proposed legislation will give the government practically unlimited power to continue to pour taxpayers' money into failed businesses whose misguided schemes devastated our economy last year. Uh, this cannot continue. It is time once and for all to end the bailouts. We all recognize the need for a resolution regime for large interconnected non-bank financial companies. Republicans have offered a plan that accomplishes this essential purpose with as little government intrusion into the private capital markets as is feasible. We propose resolving insolvent business entities through an enhanced bankruptcy process. Rather than bailing out an insolvent firm's creditors and counterparties at the expense of the financial system as a whole or taxpayers, enhanced bankruptcy would force those who extend credit to pay attention before they turn their money over to reckless managers. When trouble does arrive, creditors not expecting a bailout will work to privately resolve failing institutions rather than standing by waiting on the government to step in, as we have witnessed so many times over the past year. Uh, enhanced bankruptcy is the right solution. Bailouts are the wrong solution. Congress needs to apply the lessons learned from the last year and not enshrine permanent bailouts in the too-big-to-fail doctrine into law. Mr. Chairman, at a time when our federal financial agencies are groaning under the burden of previous bailouts and an extraordinary level of federal agency debt, it is time to end the bailouts. Mr. Chairman, I will oppose this bill and urge my colleagues to do the same. Uh, at that time, I surrender the balance of my time to the gentleman from Texas.